Hello and welcome to Two Guys Who Can't Use a Microphone Properly. Uh, you're what up? That's Greg. My name's Matt. I'm from Where's My Challenge. I'm from the Where's My Challenge fame. I'm from nowhere. I'm still riding the coattails. Greg is my biological brother. Hello. We're going to have a couple of drinks and we're going to talk about our childhood stories. We've got See, some pretty funny ones. <laughs> See, my problem is that I have a terrible memory, so... Um... I'm going to make up stories, and you're going to... I, 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 I have like... to see, I have to guess whether they're right or not. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Well, how about... Let's, let's start a little bit easy. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't be doing this during the podcast, but... Yeah, you should have done it beforehand. Uh, I think it's... Um, well, unless I make a massive one, there's not much I can do about it. Or several of the same one. All people are hearing right now is... Yeah, and hopefully that makes them go to their liquor cupboard and think, yeah, I'll, I'll drink along with the guys. Who the fuck has a liquor cupboard? Like, why would you store liquor in your house? You you get liquor, you drink it. You don't store it. It's madness. I th- I just think that all you're going to hear now is fizzing from that. I'm so sorry. Idiot. But, talking about butts, actually, I can see my ass in the mirror there. I have to see that whenever I walk up the stairs behind you. And talking about asses, how bad was my ass after that video? That's probably out by now. It was, it was quite a pussy thing. Matt overreacted. Uh, <laughs> now nah, I had it happen to me, and I, it left a mark. It wasn't nowhere. Like, it wasn't anywhere near as bad. But obviously, I didn't get it ten times. I kind of feel a little bit. I probably should have been like Greg. I need you to f- like film my ass a bit more. I probably should have, what we should have done, like in retrospect, which is always the, the way, isn't it? <laughs> After you release a video, that's when you realise what you've done wrong. It's, yeah, when you're editing it, you're like, <laughs> shit, so I should have filmed that. So, yeah, my, my plan was to uh, take a picture of my ass every hour for four days. That's a lot of pictures. They would have been pretty good, but... Because then you get to see like the fluctuation of the bruise, but we can do that in another video. That's, to be fair, that's probably been done. Yeah, <laughs> a thousand times. Also, this is on the Mert and Gerg channel. If you have come here from my social media, hit the subscribe button and the the little bell as well because hit the little bell, hit the click little the bell, bell please. Click, please. Click the bell, please. please. Ding a ling ling. Just just do it because you know <laughs> me and Greg put out free entertainment. I say free entertainment. We we do live streams. Let's get back onto topic. Childhood stories. Is that the topic of the entire thing? Then? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do this then. No, we've got to do it as 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 careful as possible not to give away names. Give away names and yeah, there's probably people that might hear some of this and be like, "Oh, that was me." So um... and I also want to apologise in advance if some of the stories do annoy you or anger you. The fact that we might have been fucking pricks when we were younger, but we have changed slightly. I haven't changed. The Greg hasn't single, changed. I haven't changed a single. Matt, Matt's calmed down a bit. I think that's that's the only change. That Dude, I used to be mental. I just save it now. I save it for when, when it's needed the most. You know when you have a warm fart and you can feel the warmth of the fart and you're like, I know that one's going to smell. It feels good though. You know what I mean? Oh, it feels good. Greg, do you want to start with a childhood story? Do you want to, do you want yeah, to start I'll with some of the ones them. that we've talked about when... I'll start with a, re- a really hazy one. <laughs> a very hazy, sort of, <laughs> you, not sure if it's true or not. <laughs> you smoked we, weed when you were eight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, okay, this is um, this is from me and Matt about five and ten or so. Maybe <laughs> it's, just, it's a huge... Like, my, my memory of my childhood is just so muddled mm. and hazy. Alcohol does that, man. No, no. I, I Do you know what the reason is? It's anything to do with school, I can remember what age I was. But anything outside of school, I can't remember what age I was. Makes sense. Make, yeah, it does make sense. So, basically, yeah, we were at some indeterminate age. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, Matt was just angry at me, and I don't know why. Oh, bro, is this to do... I thought we were going to... Nah, we're going straight into this one. All right. Okay, so Matt was pissed off at me. I don't know what I'd done. I'd probably, like play with one of his toys he was a piece of shit back then he's he is now but he's, he's a little bit less <laughs> and um he got angry and he, he literally went up behind me and he took a, he bit a chunk <laughs> out my shoulder he bit like a like we're not talking like oh he bit, charlie bit me <laughs> no i'm i mean like a, a chunk of flesh 
Okay, I don't know if you guys have read like The Merchant of Venice, where he takes like a pound of flesh. He took a pound of flesh out of my shoulder. It's childhood stories. Greg wasn't in this. So Greg, this. Greg can vocally react to and ask me questions. Uh, I was with several friends, and we had, I think it, I'm pretty, the way I remember it is we had Argos catalogs. Yeah. And now these, these things are not like, mm. they're like a thousand pages, aren't they? But it's yeah, like yeah. photo paper. We were chucking them off um, bridges onto cars. <laughs> 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 yeah that's, that's not good no i know i know it's not good at all but the police turned up yeah and i never ran so fast in my entire life i was like oh. you've, you've actually just reminded me of a story yeah from i was about 16 yeah you know like just, that counts as childhood yeah ju- just you're just getting into college and you're just starting to like drink like binge drink and get into that so my my, my mate um obviously i'm not gonna mention his name but uh he lived not too far from where we lived, and uh, I used to go to his house. He had like a quite a big back garden, and he had like his own shed. Uh, we used to play like Warhammer in there, so we went in there. And um, how can you call me a fucking cunt all the time? You used to play Warhammer, and you still play happen. League. So, dude, we come from hang like, yourself. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are not fat. <laughs> all right, let me finish now. Okay, so. We used to go around there drinking all the time when we were younger, so it'd be like the main place to go get wasted, because his parents didn't really give a shit, like, he was drinking from, like, 14, his parents didn't give a fuck, so we're getting wasted there, and his parents are out, at the, like, this night, so we thought, alright, we're drunk as hell, what are we gonna go do? Uh, so we, we, we just went out on the walk, you know when you go on a drunk walk, you, you just sort of like take a shit in someone's garden, ha ha, it's funny, funny. Well, but, what? We, that's the story right there. Nah, that's not, that's, that's, not, that's a normal night. <laughs> <laughs> what, Greg? I've never <laughs> been out with you when you fucking shat in a garden. So we, um, we, we notice on every single sort of lawn was a yellow pages. And we were just like, oh, why are there so many yellow pages? So clearly the yellow pages got dropped off and most people didn't pick it up off their doorstep that day. So we started collecting them. And we collected, I think we counted about 500. So we And we got about 500 of these yellow pages and we put them in a huge pile in the back of his garden and set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we, you... we don't know why we did it. Yeah, but we just did. Dude, there's, there's so many stupid things back in you. The fuck. Was why that? did we do? Like, it was what fun the though. Fuck? It, was one of those, <laughs> it was one of the most fun nights ever. It was, ever fun, it was great fun. I like that night. Didn't you get in trouble for that, or nearly get in trouble for that? Uh no. What? Um, or was that something else? That was a different night. Okay. <laughs> now I'm not going to say this, for mate's friend, and I had nothing to do with this. Okay. So I mean, this is bad. Okay. This is really bad. Is it? This is a bad one. So uh, my friend got into graffiti, <laughs> and we he's he made like a stencil. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say what of because this might have affected one of your parents or even you. So I'm not going <laughs> to. No, but that's incriminate funny. Incriminate myself. <laughs> So he gets this stencil, and he was, you know, like, uh, I'm not going to try and defend him. It, like, it, it was bad. And when I found out, I was like, what? <laughs> so he gets this stencil, and he puts it on, like, a hood of someone's car. <laughs> <laughs> that's and spray yeah, but that's on. just insane. It, actually, I'm going to say what it was, because it was funny. <laughs> it was a stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> so we we come walking down the next morning, hungover, going home, and there's just this stegosaurus on the hood of this guy's car. Dude, that's was, so bad. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I I um, if we're gonna start talking about other people, it's easier. Do you know what I mean? Because like stuff that happens to you, it's just yeah. I think it's funnier talking about ch- childhood people you knew that did stupid shit. <laughs> there's always there's there was always like someone. I I heard that the, the, this was a, a story told to me. There was this kid, and what he used to do, yeah, is he used to get his knife and fork out of his parents' uh, kitchen, and he used to get <laughs> dog shit and cut them up. What? <laughs> he cut them up, yeah. And then what he do is he wouldn't wash the knife and fork and he just put it back in the drawer. How did you hear about this? <laughs> Someone told me. 
Why? <laughs> Dog shit what knives. What's his motivation? <laughs> Does he hate his parents or something? Oh, come on. You must have known some fucking <laughs> stupid kids. There was always stupid kids. Come on, there must be someone that you... <laughs> some some story you heard when you were younger that was funny. Um, Well, everybody has, like, the pers- the kid in school that <laughs> everyone rumours has, like, fingered their dog's asshole. <laughs> Did you get... Everyone has, like, that one kid. And there's always a rumour. I never believed them. But there's always that one kid. He's a bit odd. So everyone's just <laughs> he's, like... He smells like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's really hard to think. I should have planned this out beforehand. There's just so many. And it's better to think of ones off, off the cuff. When, oh. I was, when I was about 12 or 13, yeah, there was this kid who used, used to be like a porn mag dealer. Ah, oh, yeah. I wish I had a kid like that. <laughs> We had to get all of our, like, we, <laughs> we, we we used to have to get all of our stuff off, like, shitty, dial-up internet porn. Waiting for that screen to load. Like, 10 pixels. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was, it was was one of my good mates' his older brother, and he used to bring porn mags into school. And uh, he brought, he brought, I was like, yeah, man, sort me out porn mag, yeah. He was like, all right. <laughs> the, the, but the way he did it, yeah, he was like, right, we're going to the bathroom. So I got into the bathroom, and I just, like, he, he stands in a cubicle next to me, and I go in one, and you just hear a, a slap on the floor, and he kicks it along. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, like, you, get, you, get, like, you get this horrible, <laughs> pissy, probably cum-stained, like, porno mag from your mate's older brother. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even remember what I did with it. I think I hid it under my bed, and then, and then mum found it. Yeah, that's what you used to always have him. Oh, yeah, I remember in science once. <laughs> so I was in science, and me and my mates, we were, this is just a really shit sto- short story, but me and my mates were like, oh, fuck this science lesson, mate. Yeah, we just got the, like, she left, the, we were just about to watch a video, and she left the room, and we ejected the video, and then, because with the VHS, you can turn the, the thing up, and there's a yeah. tape inside, and we just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so it stopped working and we didn't have to fucking watch a video but the problem is now is I love science so that's I kind of just screwed myself over there you always fall in love with subjects after school see I was just thinking this I was trying to think of something that happened in school and it reminded me of um, one of the only fights I got in at school was with um, a kid that I was actually friends with a bit chubby and um he uh, basically, well, I don't know, even know where we're going to fight. You know, like when you're a yeah. kid, you, you fight over shit stuff. And so we, we have this fight. Like he punched me, I get him in a headlock. He gets me in a headlock. We punch each other. Loads of, la la la. You know what kid fights are like. And um, it, so like afterwards, I, I was just there, and then we from, like, the teacher was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then I just said. He grabbed my cock and wanked it. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> and, and I don't know why I said that. He didn't grab my cock and he didn't wank it. <laughs> so I don't know why I came up with it, but everyone burst out laughing. And I felt like such a... I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I made everyone laugh. <laughs> didn't you get suspended for that? Or like in quite big trouble? Yeah, I got in big trouble for that. Uh, I also got a big trouble. It's just another story. Um... <laughs> I just started secondary school. so it's you're, childhood you're, stories, yeah, but yeah. they're all bad yeah. things, are they? <laughs> so yeah. you're 11 years old, um, and my brother is 13. He's in the same secondary school as me. And it's my first day at school, and I'm like, okay. Oh, fuck, yeah. So Matt's there, and, he, and I'm walking to school with Matt like, in my new co- like co- like school uniform. I'm loving it. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be great. Can't wait to meet my maths teacher and learn, and then my, and my science, and oh, I can't wait to learn all of these new things. And then Max comes up to me, he's like, oh, great. <laughs> it's Megs. Can you put them in your bag for me? I was like, what? And you like, Greg, do it or I'll fucking get you. And I was like, well, I don't know what you said. He went, <laughs> <laughs> what? I never talked like that. <laughs> yeah, he, he said something along those lines. So, I go in, um... With them in my bag, because I think, well, oh, I can't let Matt down. So I go in, and then I'm mid- midway through a class at some point during the uh, the day. And then it's just, I'm just there with Matt and like his some of his friends, and they write me out, cunts. 
and they found the eggs in my bag. I was fucking, oh, I mean. <laughs> oh, first day. <laughs> little rats. We thought, no, it wasn't me read you out. It was uh, one of them, the, the twins, as far as I remember. But we, um, we probably shouldn't have given you that on your first day. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you us out. <laughs> <Right. laughs> you ratted me. I was ratted. I learnt on my first day. Don't, <laughs> don't, trust, don't anyone. trust anyone. Don't try. Not even your bloody brother. Don't trust anyone. I saved your ass a few times in school. Oh yeah, there was that time that like, there was this, whatever the, like big bully kid is in Matt's year. I don't even know if he was that, but he seemed like that to me as a younger kid. And he he squared up to me once when Matt was there. I think he was joking about, so I slapped him. <laughs> yeah, he was in a, he I did. fucking gave him a proper like, like slap, <laughs> and he just like stared me, and then he stared at Matt, and he just left me alone. Now that kid got kicked out of school for punching a teacher. There we go. In the face, but he never punched me in the face. Yeah. At least that's what the rumors were. Rumors in school. Yeah, rumors in school. I don't. You can't trust them at all. I don't know. It's weird talking about it now as an adult, but should we talk about the the naked kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were walking past the house the other day, weren't we? And you brought that up. I this kid was mad. And he was there every day. Uh, the I'm name Jake, this I never a... saw him outside his house. I just saw him in that window. I never saw him with any clothes on. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is the fucking weirdest thing ever. And no one else is ever in. Nah, it was always... It was just on his own. I think I knew his sister. She went to school with me. And, um... Yeah, so basically... Uh, yeah, you tell this one. I want to fucking distance myself from yeah, this Yeah, so uh, from sc- at school... Like, not at school. What am I talking about school? Um, at where we live, there was always two fields. There was the big field and the small field. Small fields were like near our ha- near our house, and it's sort of like when you want to play a little bit of football. Or something big fields when you want to go crazy and do some baseball or something like that. So we go to the big field, you know, and there's these houses that uh, they their living rooms overlook the big field, <laughs> and without fail, there's always this kid who was just completely naked, like butt naked, <laughs> no, nothing, nothing left to the imagination, and. He was about the same. No, he was probably about two years younger than me, and every fucking time we're down there, <laughs> he's there and he's staring at us. He's and he's, naked. He's, he's like a wa- He's like he's like waving his dick about. He's going full on, mate. He's he's, he's fucking. <laughs> He's meat spinning it, you know what I mean? And he he loves it. And, and he always has this grin on his face. Honestly, and man. Like, <laughs> and, he's like, he's like, and there's like a leather sofa, and he's like rubbing himself all over it and shit. It was weird. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish we were making that up, because it sounds so fucking really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he used to just sit like... Completely naked on a leather sofa when there's no there's no one in the house. There was never anyone in that house for him. <laughs> <laughs> naked kid. There was never anyone and never any clothes. It was just <laughs> just this kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That, that, that's my new favourite one. It's just it's just so random. I I said it once before and I say it again. There's no way anyone has ever has has got to this part of the podcast. But if you have, please go click the little bell Do or it. subscribe. Do both and hit the like button. Oh, don't and like send that. us a comment. If you don't like these, if you think they're shit, just let us know. Yeah. Because I I I pre- I I've always said this. I don't but give I, a shit. If someone no, criticizes us. I I prefer bad comments. Yeah, we we were talking about this the other day. Uh, bad comments. Well, that's why we well Matt always pins the shittest comment because <laughs> it's always like it's always something like um, this is fucking awful. <laughs> it's just I can't even do it. I can't even replicate how how shit and bad these comments are because they're so good. They, they they make me laugh. <laughs> we were think, we were talking about like uh, typical like offensive thing. Matt doesn't really get many offensive comments, uh, at least in like your personal channel. I don't know about where's my challenge. Well, about being fat. You don't know. I've never really seen many like negative comments. 
And whereas me I and appreciate Lu- that. like me, I get the similar ones to what Lewis gets. <laughs> sort of like little weedy boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a little weed. Weedy muscles. <laughs> <laughs> or like sort of shit like that. Yeah, you need muscles. You need muscles to be a man. Where's your beard? <laughs> Where's your beard and muscles? Greg, you need to grow a moustache again. It's brilliant. I, I'm going to grow one. Yeah. But obviously from November. Just never shave it ever again. Oh, you don't understand, mate. It's, for it like gets in your full mouth. Full on months. Like, Dude, right like, now you have a beard but no moustache. Yeah. You look like an Amish motherfucker. Yeah, you no, understand no, how no, ba- no, annoying No, no but I realise that this makes my face look thinner now, so I wear it. Yeah, that's fair. Because full beards on fat guys just makes fat guys look more like fat guys. I, don't know. I think someone like Boogie without a beard would look at fucking horrid. <laughs> he looked like a slug. He wouldn't, he wouldn't <laughs> get any viewers because people are looking, <laughs> like, looking at that fucking neck. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, he, he is my YouTube daddy. I like Boogie. He's just like he, well, he he knows he's fat, so it's not offensive. Me, me and Greg want to do a video on YouTubers. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably not a good idea because YouTubers are, are all narcissistic. Insen- yeah, and like <laughs> sensitive. Like like me, please don't call me fat. It really hurts my feelings. I do have some muscle down there. I swear down. It's like I got a little bit of facial hair, man. It's just really thin. Don't be mean about it. I just have. Why do you have to be mean? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you fucking go spray a, a dinosaur on a car? <laughs> <laughs> that is bad, though, isn't it? Uh, at the time, it, it was. It was. It was cool. I'm just trying to think of stuff, but it, it's hard because. Some stories are brilliant stories, mm. and they're funny. I, do you know what? I don't think I... Like, my childhood... It's not that it was boring. Like, we used to skateboard a lot. Well, I, lot. like our, our childhood was um, heavily influenced by CKY and Jackass. Yeah. Like, all we did... Can you tell? <laughs> all we did was skateboard and do stupid shit. So we really do now, except we don't skateboard anymore. Mm. Yeah, skateboarding was great, but I got so pissed off. It requires too much skill. Hurting yourself is easier. <laughs> nah, no. For me, it was rain and rain. It was just shit weather, and I just couldn't be bothered. Mm. We never had any good skate parks, so that's why I think only and like the only good skaters in the UK are ones that have uh, indoor skate parks near them, because yeah. <laughs> we rain so much. Oh, but my friend, he's pro. So my friend, he's pro. Right. He used to, he used well, to skate in some, puddles. We, we knew really good skaters that uh, stuck at it in the rain. They didn't care. They just they stuck at it and they got good. But I just, just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. I thought I put my time and skill into something else, like learning guitar to pick up chicks or something. You know, it's what everyone else it does. Kind of, it kind of worked. Kind of, yeah, it does work. <clears throat> Is that why you learned cooking as well? Nah, that's my secret skill. So when a girl gets to know you and then they suddenly find out you're a good cook. By the way, guys, me and Greg are going to be doing a video where Greg is Grog- Grogdon Ramsey and I'm Guy Fieri. We planned out what we want to do, but... Will it be another Grog Ross? What, a masterpiece? Masterpiece with free views? Yeah, Probably. But we'll do it anyway, because uh, there's some funny ideas. And yeah. you'd, seeing you dress up as Guy Fieri would be hilarious. And you as Grogdon. Oh, I went yeah. to the zoo and saw a monkey eat his own poo. <laughs> it's just like, everyone's seen that. Like, well, though, I did, I did have a... I found my old diary from when I was 11. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, they were cringy, man. I found my old diary, and it's a lot of it's like, I went skateboarding today, I went to the cinema today, and I saw Spider-Man, and then I went to bed. And thinking back at that is like, dude, I was 11 when I wrote that. It's, mm. it's like toddler speak. One entry in it says, I went to, was it, what was the pet, was it PetSmart at the time or whatever. I went to Pets at Home today and I saw a bird poo on a chinchilla. <laughs> no way did you see that. 
Dude, it's in it's in the diary. It happened. <laughs> it's solid. So I'm going to talk about a video idea that we were talking about. Me and Greg were talking about. We can't do it because of the laws in pretty much every country in the world. We were going to get married for a video. Yeah, it's, I think it's a genius idea. And the issue is <laughs> that it's illegal in every country. You can't marry your brother in any country on this planet. You can marry your half brother in Sweden with the government's permission, uh, and you can have consensual relationships with your siblings in certain countries. Well, let's go there then, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but apart from that, no, it's it's completely illegal. You can't do it at all. That's why I think. No, I'm fun. I th- I think for a video, we should trick someone into marrying us. Yeah, I, like I want to become an ordained minister. No, but do you think that's that would be illegal? If if what happened, what we did is me and you got married, but like, say you you're faking your last name, it just wouldn't count as a real marriage. Like, like I think Lewis is like a brick stupid motherfucker. We could easily trick him. He's probably listened to this, so I'm I'm the brick stupid motherfucker for bringing up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, disclaimer: Greg loves Lewis. Yeah, I think we could trick someone. Easily. Trick someone into marrying us. Yeah. No, it's, no. Trick someone into marrying one of us. So we go up to like a random person on the street. We get their name. And then we pretend we're doing like a Greenpeace survey or something. <laughs> we get all their details down. I write them onto the fucking marriage certificate. And they go, can you sign here, please? No, yeah, you, you do that. And then you got to somehow say like... I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh. And then I shoot confetti at you guys. And then you try and kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get away with that bit. I wonder how pissed off people would get about that. People would Dude, fucking... <laughs> how about if we did this to some like, fucking hard cunt? <laughs> Proper hard Yeah, cunt. like, bald head. He's got, like, fucking skulls tattooed on him. He's, like, he's fucking... Like, he's missing an eye. And all of his teeth. <laughs> Apart from one. <laughs> you, 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 can, you can just tell. It's like English sailor towns. Yeah. You fuck. They all have, like, skull you eyes. Cunt. Where their eyes like dip into their skull, and it's because they've seen some. Oh, oh, it's the heroin, but they've seen. <laughs> they've seen much. some. Well, they've seen some bad shit. <laughs> yeah, seen so some their bad. eyes have gone bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're trying to escape. They've seen <laughs> sea monsters and shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what it's like in these sailor times. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking marry me, you can. <laughs> <laughs> they're the, they're the, they're the that's the, right I uh, oh shit mate if we were me and you would be the best con artists of all time back in the day before before the internet yeah I'd say like 30s this, 20s this and 30s. podcast would be used against us <laughs> yeah see he's a he's a midna crime see see he was spraying stegosauruses on cars see <laughs> keep it up Keep it up, man. I hope you're still swinging that dick about, fucking that was weird. rubbing, rubbing all over rubber sofas or whatever. He, he, he was, he was fucking weird. <laughs> I never met him. I never talked to him. I just saw him in the window. <laughs> it's like it's like the red light district. <laughs> yeah. yeah it was. How old were you when you broke your leg? I was fifteen. Did, that's got to be a childhood thing, right? All right, then. yeah, that's fine. Chasing tail. So, yeah, uh, anyone that's been to South England, or even probably most of England, we have, like, old World War II forts everywhere. And uh, up in Portsmouth, up, like, above, well, north of Portsmouth, there's a thing called Portsdown Hill, and there's, like, these forts up there. I used to go rock climbing there when I was a little kid. And um, Apparently you can get in the underneath them. Oh, really? Yeah. People well, keep telling yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I keep hearing about that. Um, so we go there and uh, go rock climbing. But when we're rock climbing, there's some pretty hot tail, you know, give them the eye, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know, showing them you want a bit of the woogie boogie, you know what I'm saying? Greg uh, is so <laughs> funny when he's flirting with gals. It's the, honestly, I need to film it. I feel bad though because yeah. I don't want to like cramp your t- style. I, I never flirt with gals. <laughs> nah, it's funny. Whenever I flirt with gals in front of you. You, you flirt with mum's mate the other day. <laughs> so basically, uh, st- oh yeah, okay. So we're back at this rock climbing wall. Some nice girls, you know, ooga booga, all that shit. 
You know, it's I'm cringe. thinking. I want. I want. Oh, you know, hey, baby. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so I'm that's thinking, cringy as hell. I love it. <laughs> so I'm thinking. We were thinking like afterwards. Oh shit! They've gone ahead of us. Let's try and get the numbers because, like, you know, it's back in the day. Probably not even their numbers, like their fucking hotmail address. Or yeah, they're MSN. I mean? They're MSN. Yeah, MSN. MSN. So we um shout out to MSN. So we, yeah, so we go chase and tell, and we're sprinting down this long, it's long, long corridor uh, that goes right in, uh, into the fort, and um, it's, it'd been mopped or something recently, and I slip up. Uh, I don't. I, I literally I can't remember how it happened, but I I slip up, and. It goes from normal leg to two bones, <laughs> one splintered into like ten pieces, and the other sticking through my muscle. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, what I could think at that moment was, what the fuck has happened? And then I look at my leg, and it's all fucking bent out of shape. And then I was just like, and, and severe. Severe pain, and I, I'm not like. There's probably someone out there that's had a, had a no. I've given birth. I know. <laughs> fucking, you don't fucking know pain, mate, until you've broken a leg in that sort of way. Yeah, but not only that, it severed the muscle and tendons. Se- in severed your the leg. muscle, the tendons. Mm. It took six months until I was out. I was in cast for six months. It's like unheard of in medical history. Well, it probably isn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the entire, it, it entirety was, of medicine. Uh, legit, it was bad, and um. So, yeah, it, I, I've actually got a dent in my leg now. You can see it. Look, dent there. It's not a dent there. So, it fucked my, it fucked my leg up. My leg up, it, my leg is still crooked from it. It fucked my leg up. My leg will never fully heal. So, it's pretty bad. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. All for chase and tell. But, the good thing about that story, though, is that... There is no good thing about it because breaking your legs is the fucking worst <laughs> thing. And they, you wonder why I, when I watch these broken leg videos, it's because I understand the pain. I'm not some cunt that's never like properly broken a bone. It's like, hey, this funny. He's hurt that's a, that's a cringy. All I can think of is sorry for that. that actually, fire, wait, yeah. no, wait. There is a silver lining to the story. Morphine. <laughs> <laughs> you got to experience morphine for the first time. Uh, it's like floating on clouds. It, it uh, having an IV. I think is a lot better. I I had uh, IV morphine when I had a hernia in my stomach from it's vomiting. It's amazing, man. I can see, I can understand heroin addiction. Well, let me put it that well, way. Well, heroin's supposed to be a shit version of it. I don't know. Whatever. Even like like zero point zero five percent of that morphine hit. Oh, come on, it's it not really not that good. It is. Well, you probably didn't even have enough then, mate. Wow, Dude, it, he gave. When I he, lived on it for great, like a week. He gave it to me, and I was like, I was like, I don't really want that much. And he was like, I've just given you as much as I can give you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then again, yeah, I am fat, so. Oh man, yeah. When I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital for a week after I fucked my leg up. They didn't want to do. Thing is, is the annoying thing is, is that my leg was so fucked up. <laughs> they didn't want to do surgery on it because they thought they might fuck it up even more. <laughs> It was that bad. They literally said, we're going to have to just wait and see what happens. <laughs> we'll just wait and see. <laughs> yeah, so that was shit. So, um, so I was stuck in hospital for a week. But I literally, I would just ring the nurse constantly. Pain medication, pain medication. But Greg, did you get the MSN address? No. Oh. Go, did the girl? Bit, bit, no, 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 no. Probably, probably, this is—I never asked you this about this story. Did the girl you were chasing stop and try and like make you feel better, or did she just leg it? <laughs> <laughs> nah. The problem, the problem is, is that they weren't even in the corridor at the time. So I might, I might have actually got it. Because they, they might have come over and said, you know, what's up? But you were fucking like crying, like biting into your hand. Yeah, I, I, I actually have bite marks. Ah, oh, oh, can I have you ever said? Oh, no. I have bite marks on my hand where I bit into my hand because it was so painful. That is so. I fucking love. I don't, it's not funny. It's not something to laugh. Well, I broke my ankle. I know it's obviously not as bad. <laughs> I broke my ankle. Oh, oh, a little bone in my ankle. You broke like the smallest bone in your ankle. Yeah, but it's the bone that holds your foot to your 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 leg and. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. I was, no, no, no. I was gonna, I was gonna have to. Well, 
not me, I was about 14 at the time, I don't want to know any different, but my mum was thinking about suing the hospital because they gave me crutches, um, they gave me crutches when I went in, and they were like, right, we'll x-ray you tomorrow, but you go home tonight. Um, they put me in a, a, cr- a crappy bandage, not a natural cast, mm. so I could m- I'd still move my ankle, it fucking killed, so I didn't move it. I was crutching it along, and the bottom fell through of the crutch, oh. and I fucking, I was cr- I was proper crutching like fast as well, because I was like, yeah, fuck. You're, you're an impatient yeah. hand, that's why. <laughs> and I fucking landed on it sideways, and it, it probably brought, actually, that's probably what actually fully broke yeah, probably. it. probably. Right. And I could have sued you cunts. <laughs> Nigga guy. That sounds so creepy, but at the at the age we were at the time, it's not. It's not creepy. It's not creepy at all, because at the, he, he was the same age as us, so it's, like, it's not creepy. I don't even know if we've created this myth. No, it's, it was a <laughs> legit thing. It happened. It, it, there were separate occasions where it happened. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right, sh- should we come to the final story? Yeah. Uh, people that have watched our live streams probably know this story, but we need it we need it down as a pa- like, uh, we need it down as a matter of public record. But at the same time we kind of feel bad. I don't. Matt feels a little bit of empathy. I do about feel a little bit of empathy feel. because he was a fat kid and I now can empathize with the fats. <laughs> with the hams. Oh, my life sucks because I'm fat, so I take it out on everyone else. <laughs> uh, food food addiction's a, f- a real thing, Greg. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um. So, the the main reason that this is pretty horrible and nasty is because me and Greg are quite protective brothers, and we have a sister that got hit in the face with a shoe by this fucking fat cunt. Fucking piece of shit, mate. Fat who, who, like, when it comes to my, our sister, only me and Greg are allowed to fucking annoy her and piss her off. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If Everyone anyone can get fucked. You hit her in the face with a shoe? <laughs> that was my job, you motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, we, we were brainstorming, we are thinking, right, how do we get this fucking piece of shit back? I think... We must have been... I think he was probably about 11. He was about my age at the time. And I was about 13. Yeah, we were yeah. about... It was, no, we were maybe a little bit longer. I think, I think we were younger than that. Ten, 10... I was about 9. 9, 11. You, me, you, you were just starting secondary nine, school, 10. I think. So there was... A, yeah, right, anyway. So, um... Kid pissed us off a lot. We weren't happy. Like, our sister came back crying... Our mum was like, oh, there's not, nothing we c- I can really do. And then, like, that's when we, <laughs> yeah, we were like, <laughs> looked at each other like, yeah. fat boy bashing time. Fat boy bashing time. <laughs> <laughs> we bashed him good. But we thought, beating him up is not going to do anything. You beat up a kid, all he's going to learn is, it, all he's going to do is go cry to his mum, and then he's going to get, like, a new toy or something, because he's a fat piece of shit, spoiled or, brat. Or because so, he's a horrible person that hits women in the face with a shoe, it's obviously what his family already do to him yeah, so beating him up doesn't teach him a lesson yeah he gets beat up every day so <laughs> we thought Dude, we're going hard on this cunt but he's, he deserves <laughs> he's a, he's a, he, he was the big piece of shit on like on, on the block he was the he was the kid that everyone wished like death like, on like like, 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 like like yeah like like everyone wished he was still birthed or something it, 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 you, like we hate mother him. didn't want you but you were still born yeah that's that unfortunate he was still born well like Born in the first. Now place. let's keep going in on him. Okay, so this fat <laughs> cunt. I think he had glasses as well. I, I I wanted to fucking rip his eyes out. Do you remember he had a he had no pair? He had what? He had no pair. So he he would go outside, and uh, a French woman would have to look after him. But she was all like, no, 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 no. Every time he did something bad, yeah. but he never did anything. He, like, just, to he just told her to shut up and yeah. stuff. Yeah, he was... Shut up, he, he was Cartman, basically. He was like... He's Cartman! Like, t- get Cartman, but take... like the Because Cartman has that vindictive intelligence. Yes. Take that away from Cartman and just a spoiled piece of shit rat bag cunt. And that's what this kid was. 
So he's a fuck. I hate him, man. So okay, we we spent for about five minutes like discussing what a cunny is. So let's go into the what. So we look at each other after our sister comes in, and our, our mum's like, "There's not really anything I can do." And we were like, "That's it. Let's it's get this cunt." We can do. So we get. We weren't saying cunt at that age, though. Nah, no, we I don't even think I knew what that. We were word saying was. like boo head or <laughs> yeah, fucking boo, boo, <laughs> boo head. <laughs> Fucking no. So <laughs> you fucking boo head. So we looked at each other and we said, "Let's get this boo head." We went and got our super. Song. Wait, you saying boo or poo? Boo, boo. That's even worse. I don't know. Go on in. So we get our like super soakers because this was like it was sort of uh it must have been lit, like springtime, and um we were just like we're gonna fuck this guy up. No, it was middle of summer. It was the middle of summer. Yeah, yeah. It was a really hot day. So we um we, we thought we we're gonna fucking kill this kid. So we go into our garage, and our, our dad's really into DIY. He's always been into that shit. So he has everything lined about everything, every noxious substance known to man. You know, he has like paint thinner. He has fucking <laughs> weird shit. We 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 put everything everything in, in there, and we we, we we get everything we can. It's soap liquid. You know, like, 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 I can't even describe how much shit we put into this thing. Any, I, think was, I think there was a bit of bleach, bit of bleach. There was a paint thinner. There was soap. <laughs> there was pretty much everything. Like shampoo. You could find. Yeah, we, just just weird shit. Like anything we could find in the kitchen or garage. Yeah. Or bathroom that looked like it could kill someone. We fill it up a bit with a little bit of water to make sure that it can shoot through. And then we were <laughs> this like, sounds really bad the way you're putting it. Nah, nah, nah. Wait till it gets to the, <coughs> the best part. So, after all of this, I'm like, okay, this motherfucker's going down. So, but then we thought, that's not enough. So, <coughs> sorry. We we took a piss in it. We pissed in the Super Soaker too. Oh, man, we filled them up. Yeah. So, okay, so we have this, and we know where to find this kid, because this kid's always, he used to have like a, like one of those like quad bikes. <laughs> yeah, but it was electric. Yeah, it was and like electric. about two miles from Yeah, and, and he always used to make himself seem cool, and he, <laughs> it, it would just like stare down at everyone, so we were like, so we knew where to find this guy, it was sort of like a... Uh, you just hit. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> shitty thing. So we get up to this motherfucker, and he looks at us, and... He has this sort of like smile on his face because he's know what he's done. He knew who we are. He knew who our sister was. He knew what he did to her. So he knows something bad's coming his way. But he saw us with super soakers, and all it, you can see on his face just like, oh, you're just gonna spray me with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you can see in his eyes like, oh, I thought you were gonna come beat me up, but that's it. That's what we got. Yeah. So we were like, so we, we, we were like, oh, that's it. We'll get you. And we start sh- like spraying him. And this kid, you know, it's a warm day. It's quite hot. It's, you know, it's t-shirt weather. And it, he like, wanted to play it off. He wanted to play it off. He was always that sort of, ha, you can't really get me. I don't care what you do. So he's there, like, like putting his arms up like that. Like, well, you can't really see. But he's yeah. putting his arms up and he's uh, he's like going, oh, oh yeah, so nice. And <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. And then he opens his mouth. <laughs> 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 and, it, and it gets in his mouth, <laughs> and 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 it's not like you know, like uh, you know, like when you recognise something is wrong, <laughs> it takes a while to process, and you can still be doing the same thing. So he's there, and he's putting it in his mouth, and it, it hasn't hit him yet. The the neurons haven't fired from his tongue and his like taste buds to his brain yet, and you can see. On a, like on our faces is just this this amazing grin. Oh man! And then you you see like this sudden realization that something's not ro- something's wrong here. I don't know how, how to describe it. It's like it's like terrible. Watching a fat guy die because we just poisoned him. He, he did not look well. <laughs> <laughs> he turned like pale. So <laughs> yeah, and he and are we yeah. admitting to a murder on a podcast? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, so, we, de- we definitely never we, saw him again. We never saw him again. Mm. We used to see this kid like at least a few times a week, and we never saw him again. He disappeared. I don't know whether his parents just stopped him. I don't know if we actually damaged him or hurt him or like we put bad shit in there, and it went down his throat. <laughs> it went into his throat. It, 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 there's no way that that didn't go down into his stomach as well. It, we we might have killed this kid. Nah, he can't. He can't. Nah, maybe not. But he we can't might have sent off like that. It, it wasn't that bad. 
<laughs> At least I tell myself that every night before I go to sleep. Uh, but this fat kid, man, you don't fuck with family members. You lot. shouldn't. We fuck you, you just, up. Just don't be a cunt. That's the moral yeah. story. I don't. I think that's. Don't a, be a cunt. Don't fucking kill fat kids. <laughs> that's not being a cunt. Fucking okay? piss soakers. It's, it's cool to kill cunts, but it's not cool to be a cunt. You know what I'm saying? No, but doesn't killing a cunt make you a cunt? No, it makes you a cunt killer. Ah, yeah, well, I already have that nickname. <laughs> Fat kid, if you're out there, buddy, we're sorry, but you know, just don't do, don't hit people in the face with a shoe. You know what I mean? I hope you're six feet under. <laughs> Dude, he wasn't that fat. No, no, that's not what caused the death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that, that that end bit we are kind of half joking about. We honestly did never see him again, though. No, um, I'm pretty sure we didn't kill him because someone would have. Oh, yeah, there would have, have been a fucking manhunt. Yeah, there would been a, there would have been a huge thing about yeah, it. Yeah, but it's you know it's just at the time I really didn't feel bad, but now I'm older. I'm like, dude, I, I would just... never do that to someone now. Yeah, 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 but I don't feel bad about it. Really. I wouldn't do it now, but I don't feel bad about doing it. Why? What? What if uh, we get fat guy in, and he's like, every day for the last <laughs> fifteen years is suffering. So <laughs> 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 we turn the fat guy into Darth Vader. That is gonna. <laughs> That is going to be the name of this podcast. We turned the fat guy into Darth Vader. <laughs> Why did you do this? Yeah. What have you done to me? <laughs> suffering. <laughs> oh. Life is suffering. So, that was some of our childhood stories. I think we might revisit our childhood stories, but... But do subscribe to this channel. We hope you enjoy it. How's it bad? It's just bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Dude, we're fucking sat here laughing our <laughs> ass off about killing a fat kid. <laughs> well, I'm not in prison, so I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe, I'll do to you what I did to the fat kid. <laughs>